Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Gabby and today we're going to talk about similar scents to Zerjov Herba Pura. I feel like everyone heard about this perfume before it was from, um, it was in, in the Sospiro line. I think they call it like, Sospiro was another brand, wasn't really um, another collection, how it is Casa Morati collection. It was another brand, but it was still owned by Zerjov and now they included everything that was from that collection. I think they're calling it the Velvet Collection. But Herba Pura was like super, super, super well known. Uh, way before I started to buy niche perfumes or just perfumes in general, um, I had a decent collection, but uh, definitely not this. I knew about Herba Pura. And I, to be honest with you, I didn't test it since, I don't know, until maybe three months ago. This is when I first tested it and I got a decant of it and I use it, but I don't need that one. It's absolutely amazing. Like if you never tested Herba Pura, you have to test it. It's this super fruity, almost like a fruit salad cocktail, refreshing, but sweet. And it's amazing. It's just amazing. But I do have in my collection, lots of other perfumes that smell very similar to Herba Pura and maybe something was missing from that one or maybe you didn't find it like that interesting check these ones out because they have a similar DNA but they're going in different directions they have like other notes that are more prominent and maybe you're gonna love them more so before we start if you like this video don't forget to pick thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in I feel like the brand that has the most perfumes that smell very similar to Herba Pura is Tiziana Terenzi and I'm guilty, I'm guilty, okay, I have three perfumes that from Tiziana Terenzi that are pretty similar to Herba Pura. Zerjov itself has other fragrances that smell like Herba Pura. Um, but yeah, these ones that I have, in my opinion, are just better and I know, they just have something extra, they have something um, a bit more unique because I'm quite bored of that DNA. But if you like it or like I said if you like it but you're not really sure maybe check this ones out because they're similar but they have their own character so I'm not gonna start with Tiziana Terenzi I'm gonna start with other brands and the first one that we have in here is Navitus Idola this one was featured in my Delina video as well by the way I did a Delina video I did a Baccarat Rouge I did Love Don't Be Shy um, so I'm gonna leave the links for those videos in the description box as well Idola was featured in my Delina video because it's very similar to Delina. But in the same time, it has something similar to Herba Pura. For me, it's absolutely amazing. Like, I just love this thing. Look, love the mist, love everything about it. Bottle, color, everything. For me, Idola is this Delina type of rose mixed with very juicy fruits. It's like the type of fruits that you're gonna have, you're gonna um, find in Herba Pura. You're getting that tart rose as well. It's kind of like the love baby between these two perfumes. It's just stunning. It's beautiful. With uh, Navitus, I never, ever, ever had an issue with lasting power or projection. All of them last on my skin. All of them project. And this one is just beautiful. Like, if you don't want a fragrance to be like, I don't know, maybe Delina it's a bit too rosy for you, a bit too powdery, or Herba Pura it's a bit too fruity for you. This one is just perfect. Like, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, if you want that type of DNA, but with some tart rose, check this one out. It's super feminine. It's so beautiful. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. So the first one is Idola from Navitus. Next, we have from Emi Calif. Uh, spiritual when I got a travel size of this one I was like oh my god this is amazing like this is amazing spiritual again beautiful automizer has a similar vibe again to Herba Pura is that like juicy sparkling fruits but then you're getting something super airy kind of feels like Herba Pura with some Baccarat Rouge, but then you're getting maybe some citruses as well. Like it's not, I don't know, it, it has something maybe like lemon or orange, something that makes it a bit fresher than Herba Pura, but it's just, it's, it's just so good. Like it's just so good. I have my travel size 
and I used that one up. I had just like a little bit left and I took it with me on holiday. Amazing, absolutely stunning, stunning fragrance. It has this heaviness. That's why some people are saying, oh, it smells like Bacalouche. It doesn't smell like Bacalouche, but it has that, that same type of like everything going on that Bacalouche has. It's so beautiful. Like it's so beautiful. It has, like I said, something else going on comparing to Herba Pura. Um, something different. And I love that. Spiritual from Emi Kalev. Beautiful scent. Like beautiful scent. Absolutely amazing for the summertime. Next we have. It's not necessarily Tiziana Terenzi, but, but it's owned by Tiziana Terenzi. This one is from Quinto Canto and this one is Strignina. Strignina. I would say it's the most different from all of these. Not sure. No, maybe from the Tiziana Terenzi line. Like I said, it's not Tiziana Terenzi, but it's owned by Tiziana Terenzi, so it's basically kind of the same thing. Uh, this one has a similar vibe to Herba Pura. I feel like I said this video Herba Pura like way too many times. Uh, but it has this raspberry note, like from all of the fruit, uh, fruits that are in here. You can smell other fruits differently, but you can definitely smell the raspberry. And then you're getting this like creamy vanilla, but refreshing. It has a bit of a quality of an ice cream. Like imagine Herba Pura, but make it more raspberry, but make it a bit more like ice creamy. This is what I'm getting with Strignina. And you're gonna get compliments with this one. Like people absolutely love this perfume. And now I'm annoyed that I didn't include this one in my most complimented perfumes because this one definitely got me compliments and I completely forgot. Um, it's beautiful. And you can find this one, the bottle is just stunning. Let's talk about the bottle, like, come on, look at this, it's velvet. Um, what I was saying, uh, this one is not that expensive. I think it retails for like 130, but you can definitely find it for like 90 pounds, which is 100 ml. Um, excuse me, but like Lavia Bell right now, it's like, I don't know, 110, and this designer, and everyone is tired of that fragrance. It's not that expensive like generally it's not that expensive if you know where to look at okay you can find it for like more but you can definitely find it for like under 100 pounds um, and presentation stunning scent stunning everything is just amazing Srignina from Quinto Canto now let's move on to Tiziana Terenzi and the most famous one probably Kirke I am not sure which one came first okay I didn't check my bad I didn't check if Herba Pura or Kirke, but these two are compared all the time. They are extremely similar. Kirke has a mask note. Quite, do I have something here? I don't think so. Quite strong. That comes after maybe like 10 minutes. I don't mind that. It's not your clean mask. It's a bit like, more like animalic mask. But I really don't mind that because with Herba Pura it's pretty linear, kind of stays the same. It's like super fruity, fruit salad, kind of flirty, very good for the summertime. But that mask in this one just gives it a bit more character, you know? I really like it. Like, I really like it. Right now, for me, it smells like, I don't know, 96.99% similar to Herba Pura. But when it dries down, it has something else. It's the mask. This is what I'm thinking. I think it's the mask. Because it has something sexy and a bit animalic in it. But like, don't think animalic and like, I don't know, smells bad. Like, it smells very sensual. It smells, I don't know. I do really like it. I do really like Kirke. Uh, the only thing that really annoys me is like the cap. I have like 100% an authentic bottle, but the cap just... Like it stays, but it doesn't really stay. Um, yeah, but besides that, I love the gold bottle. I love the scent. Uh, no problems. In general, with Tiziana Terenzi, I never ever had a problem with uh, projection and lasty power. So yeah, Kirke, uh, obviously from Tiziana Terenzi. Next we have Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia, if you don't smell them side by side, you're going to be like, oh, they smell the same. They don't. Cassiopeia. It's more soapy, creamy, not soapy. It has something creamy in it, more like a like hair conditioner. Like imagine Herba Pura, but make it like, you know, silk. Like, you know how hair conditioner has that like creamy, silky texture? 
make it like that this is what i'm getting with cassiopeia the minute when i uh, tested this i was like i really like it but i feel like it's very similar to kirke and then they had kirke in there i tested them side by side i was like nope it's not that similar i need this as well because like i said this one goes a bit more sexy this one goes a bit more like light creamy silky um i do really like it i love the bottom like i love this cap like just look at this it's stunning cassiopeia you can find it again for here you can find it for like 90 pounds if you know where to look cassiopeia you can find it for like 110 but again you're paying for the box for the bottle for all of this as well but the scent is like very good i really like it um and yeah like i said it's a bit more silky a bit more creamy that's it cassiopeia from tiziana terenzi and the last one and probably my favorite one tabit like i know it's very extra like if you see the box the box is extremely extra like i've never seen anything like that in my life it's absolutely massive and when you open it it has lights and it's just it's amazing uh this is expensive okay like this is expensive stuff it does remind me of Elba pura and all of the other ones but it definitely has its own character this one has some amber and then it has a sun note I don't know how they capture that, but it generally smells like burning sand. Obviously, that Eva Pura character, um, DNA, but then some like burning sand. No makes no sense, but you, when you put this thing on your skin, oh, especially summer evenings, because it has that amber, so I'll now wear this one during the daytime, I'll wear it just nighttime, it's just amazing you need to like some amber in your perfumes okay usually i'm not the biggest fan of that note but in this one just works for me wonderful i love it i just adore the bottle the scent everything oh, it's so good it's just so good like i said it's more like nighttime it's fruity but definitely that amber and that um like i don't know burning sand almost you know when it's like it's super super hot i'll say and you're at the beach and you try to walk and you can't because the, the sun is like way too hot that has a smell i know it makes no sense but that actually has a smell um and it's in this fragrance and it's just amazing and i love it so yeah last fragrance that we have in here and, and i mentioned that it's beast mode not sure it's beast mode last fragrance that we have in here is a bit from titiana terenzi and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below if you ever tested Elba pura if you like it if you don't if you tested any of these if you have any other fragrance that maybe has a similar uh, dna but has its own character let me know in the comments down below and that was it for today thanks i can't talk today thank you so much for watching all the time you know you know guys all the time when i have to do the outro it, is it called outro i think it's called outro not sure intro and outro i think so um thank you so much for watching it like, gets me all the time like i have to record this again and again and again anyway thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to pick thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one bye, -bye.